talking about a river. Oh yeah. My home, they have a problem here. My home, my home is over Jordan. So last weekend was the Sierra Trek put on by the California Four Wheel Drive Association. It's basically an organized run that happens on the Fort Ice Jeep Trail. We always do a vendor booth up at Meadow Lake, but most of the time we drive around on the gravel forest service roads, come into Meadow Lake where everybody comes in with trucks and trailers and motor homes, um, and kind of like posers set up and talk about how cool our four wheel drive parts are and don't run the trail. So here it is Friday night before I'm heading up to Meadow Lake and I decide that I'm gonna go ahead and take the 392 with our long arm, Ultimate 60s, 39s, Fox 2.5 clickers, by myself, no spotter, loaded up with the uh, uh, show stuff, the easy up, the table, everything. And I'm just gonna go ahead and commute to Meadow Lake via 10 and a half miles of the hardest Northern California Jeep Trail, the Fort Ice Jeep Trail. Well, it's 6.09, just left Nyack, the old BK Lounge. And uh, I was supposed to be on the trail for an hour by now, but I did detour to the shop, get some parts for Blake. Uh, so now I'm back on the road. Uh, figured if you're making nice stuff, you might as well just run the whole trail. Six fifteen, perfect time to start the trail. Uh, if I don't run into, into any traffic, I can be up to Meadow by nine. But you know I'm gonna hit traffic, so it's probably gonna be like noon. Have three hours of rush hour traffic on the Four Eyes Trail. So we'll see what happens. Well, airing down always takes a while, but I got my ARB air down tool, so we'll see what happens. I think it's about six eighteen. Here we go. All right, well, it's 627, so nine minutes, all four tires aired down. And I actually removed the driver's side sway bar end link, so I shouldn't have to worry about that thing hooking itself back up. So here we go. Uh, about 630, we're going wheeling. 639, just went up driveline hill, continuing to the river. Here we are, 640, Meadow Lake, 10 miles. All right, let's do it. That wasn't anything, they got the water at like 10 CFM. Dude, that is nice beachfront property right there. <laughs> that is, I don't think it gets any better than that at Fort Ice. Look at that. All three of them. Is this the kitchen, Jeff? Yeah. The mini bar's right here if you want to make a cocktail. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Jeff, what happened to my term? Uh, you, you messed up, Trevor. You I did. Stopped. Huh? Yeah, well, we didn't even start cocktails yet. So if you start cocktails. And yeah. I've, already, I've already lost 20 minutes. You shaved time off. You shave time oh, off. now now you go shave time. Yeah. Oh, I have a job to do. <laughs> oh, shit. I want, I want to text from you at committee in 60 minutes. I guess there's a reason I turned the, the, the shocks up. It's kind of hard when you don't have a spotter. So you just kind of let things fall into place, make noise and everything else. I think we're headed the right way little ledge here. Nice and easy. Just got my foot on the brake and on the gas, just kind of walking it. Whoop, little scratch on the back fender. That'll happen. What you'll notice is you do not hear squeaking, creaking, popping, um, springs loading up. So this Jeep has traditional springs 
and two and a half inch clicker Fox shocks. I can hear the oil flowing through the shocks. I can hear the rocks scuffing on the tires. Uh, my Borla exhaust in the 392 is quiet and perfectly tasteful. It makes for just a wonderful morning and I didn't even turn on the music, the radio, nothing. I just listened to this Jeep for three and a half hours, make sweet, soft music in my ear. I'm telling you what, it does look pretty gnarly up here. Uh, that's what windshield one will do. That's a nice part to see on the trail. I might have to get out to take a picture of my new spiderweb shade. Looks good. Picture time. All right, so this is the top of windshield one. And there she is. About to shoot the moon. Oh, here goes nothing. Up, I guess. There it is. We're up just like that. Winch Hill One. We're just cruising. Morning cruise. Just like that, got hung up at the top. Huh. Maybe my exhaust. Who knows? All right, now we're over. Lockers off. And, ladies and gentlemen, live from Winch Hill One, made it. Well, we're at the second crossing. It's around 8.30, I think. Um, and it's, there's really no water at all, as you can see. So, I think this is Windchill 2. I can never tell because Windchill 2, there's never really an obstacle, I don't think. So I don't know if it's just the trail or it's what some people might have to call a windshield. Um, we're just gonna keep going up. It's just kind of steep and a couple rocks here and there. You know, because you are on a rock trail. Off to our left here, just after Windshield 2, is the waterfall campground. Just look down there, a couple guys camping in there. We're heading up to Committee. Here we are at the third river crossing. And once again, no real water. They got it turned down. But uh, what a great morning. Right, we're just before Committee, and every once in a while you see that. Just a rig parked so she's probably broken we are just i think well we passed committee and we're coming up to windchill three uh i am going to do the bypass on windchill three. Oh, damn hit a rock um i just don't feel like going up three in the 392 well just like that i've hit the traffic jam I've hit the traffic jam. Yeah, yeah, that's what we are. I started from the beginning this morning, but I was hoping to get to Meadow before you guys came oh, down. No, there's another like 20. Like 30 or so. Yeah. 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 I had to stop for drinks, so I, I took my time. Love it. Meadow Lake because you don't have any street credit so I came this morning the whole trail by myself well we may have a problem here oh no I did not realize I was going that fast that is an issue 
Yikes. So we caught up to a group of like 50 rigs going down Winch Hill 3. We had to sit for an hour and a half, let them go by. Um, then we just kind of proceeded up to Winch Hill 4, cleaned Winch Hill 4 pretty easy. And uh, we're now approaching Winch Hill 5. And we're just taking it easy. Um, just trying to make it to work. I mean, this is my morning commute almost to Meadow Lake. Gonna set up the booth up there and hand out some free swag. Enjoy the uh, Northern Sierra Saturday afternoon. We're kind of just right at the top of five. I didn't really video it. I forgot we were on five and uh, just like that you're pretty much out on the dirt road from here on out so four dice now it's about a mile up to Meadow Lake just coming into Meadow Lake look at that bad boy salt axle swap this thing is nice 10.30 not bad for having to wait in traffic for an hour. Um, but this is it. Meadow Lake looks like they're just landing a helicopter. Um, maybe the sheriff. Here we are. Sierra. Oh, yeah. My home. My home, my home is over Jordan. 